One of the greatest life lessons we learn through time, I can honestly say, if you're going to be seasoned and wise, if you're going to be steeped in the best of you, and you're going to be passionate, you have to learn this next lesson. You can't put high heels or pearls on a Holstein. It does not work. What am I saying? You can't fix and change everything, which leads me to my son. God bless him, really. He just graduated from college at age 33. He called me up, Mama, you know how long it took me to go through school? No. Mama, I've been here for four presidents. I said, didn't Obama have two terms? Yeah, so Thomas and I have going, yeah, he's still in college, he's still in college, yeah, yeah, he finally graduated, we're thrilled at that. But isn't it a glorious day when you can embarrass your children for a change? <laughs> Anybody done that? It's a glorious day. So we were stopped at a little service station in Charleston, and right across the road was a little strip mall, no play on words, but it's getting there, and there was this little shop bad kitty no that's not a um, pet smart no it's a little naughty lingerie plus shop and we have historically dared each other to do things I dare you so my son looks at me and says I dare you to go in that shop I said all right I walked into bad kitty he was right behind me I dare you to buy something I said, all right. Well, the tamest thing I could find was edible underwear. <laughs> so I shoved him in my pocketbook. Right after that, we went to see Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. <laughs> we have to balance our children. So I'm sitting in Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood movie. Well, I got hungry. <laughs> I did. I just got hungry. So I pulled out my bad kitty bag and started gnawing on my edible underwear. And my son said, Mom, stop it. Oh, I crunched even harder. I ate one leg, I was going for the next one. He said, Mom, this is embarrassing. I went, oh, the words I've longed to hear for so many years. He said, Mom, this is Mr. Rogers' neighborhood, not sex in the city. Well, I got to tell y'all, I told that the other night I was speaking to a group of Baptist women. <laughs> and I ran it by the guy that hired me. I said, Jeff, you think this will work? He said, they'll think it's hilarious. So they did. So after my speech, here came the sweetest super senior with her walker coming up to me. And she said, you know that story you told about bad kitty in the underwear? Well, I was going to apologize. I could just feel it. And I said, i got to say I'm sorry. I bet I've offended her. I said, yes, ma'am. She said, it tastes like fruit roll-ups. <laughs> <laughs> and there was only one thing left for me to say to her. I said, me, yow. Yeah.